Hi, I'm showing you this video picture of my cell phone. As a result, you can see it's 12.13 p.m. on February 5th, 2014. I'm also going to use the tools menu. Voice command. Say a command. Date and time. February 5th, Wednesday, 12.13 p.m. Okay. This is my tent here. My name is Leslie Williams. I am the target, victim, and activist concerning the crimes of organized stalking, which can also be called gang stalking. This is showing you that it's locked up. Okay. And the reason why I'm showing you this, this is a brand new tent. It's been up about a week now. Okay. That's right. It's got weatherization sheets on all sides. That's the front flap that gets pulled down in front of the tent. Okay. Um. Hold on. Okay, and the reason why I'm showing you this video picture of this tent, I've been at this location now for 15 full months. That's right, and now the San Diego police know where I live at. You better believe they do. Because of an event that took place concerning, hang on, uh, they know where I live at as a result of me having to call the police pertaining to something that I stumbled across uh, in a, at a different location on the 26th of January, and they... They basically reassured me that nothing would happen by them in reference to where I live because I'm hiking. Now, I've been exposing the San Diego Police Department for the last two years all over the internet in reference to me being a target of gang stalking. So, uh, don't think for one minute that they cannot use other clever creative means to make it appear that other police officers have a reason to come down here to evict me. Now, I keep this area completely clean okay uh when i don't have the time availability or the room to take my garbage with me on a daily basis like you can see it's in my basket on my bike right now what i'll do is tie it up to a tree like you can see right here because i don't want the raccoon to get to it okay and this right here is just some preliminary stuff that i have sitting here because i'm preparing to move it's a loose end and um so anyways, what am I talking about? What I'm talking about is the fact that I'm the target victim and activist concerning the criminal expeditions of what is known as organized stalking, which can also be termed as gang stalking. This video applies for the next 30 calendar days, nights, mornings, afternoons pertaining to the specific hiking area that I've been at for 15 full months. There is a code number that is attached to the description of the location of this place and a code word. That code word being G-I-L-L -L times two, I'm a woman, not a man. These codes were created by me, okay, to for strategic and legal purposes. Now, they set up some individuals to hike out about 100 feet away who yelled gang stalk, gang stalking, gang of stalking, oh my god, weird, crazy, suck my dick, shit like that, excuse my language, I didn't mean to say that in its entirety, it just came out. And then they laugh about it. And they constantly and repetitively do it. Now, I will admit, though, because I believe in telling the truth, that ever since Thanksgiving 2013, they have not harassed me on nowhere near as much of a scale as they were. But they still are. Now, from what I can ascertain, it's, it appears to be a young woman and a couple, a couple men. I don't know if they're factually homeless or not, or if they're just gang-stalking perps who are pretending to be homeless. And the reason why I say that is because I have read numerous blogs of other targeted individuals, and that they are stating that they're using people who are pretending to be homeless. Because all you have to do is look at it this way. If they do something concerning you or your property, that's the reason why I'm making this video, in part, is because when I leave here and I come back and my property is missing, uh, that could be to try and provoke me to go over to them so an incident will occur so either them or a third party can call the police. The police come out, they say I'm crazy, uh, the police said, well, what do you, the police will say, well, what are you doing here anyways? I tell them that I'm hiking and that they've been harassing me. The police will not acknowledge at all that I'm being gang stalked one bit, not one bit, not at all, after I've requested on anywhere between 17 and 21 separate occasions for them to make a police report concerning the factual reality that I'm the victim of this crime, and they have denied my civil rights to do so every single time, and I will eventually sue them, make no mistake about it. Now, because um, it's gross negligence of duty and it's obstruction of justice as well, at least. Now, I'm getting ready to prove to you, literally, 
that this methodology is being used against me in reference to them placing people along my routes and where I live at to constantly harass me using census citation methods of gang stalking where they basically will repeat certain words, phrases, physical gestures, they, and they also use a bunch of other sensitization techniques. And basically, though, it's, that done, it's done to form mental associations in your minds to a word, a phrase, a physical gesture, even colors and sounds. And then just use different dupe dummies in the community to get around you to repeat them. That's a clever way to make you feel stalked as a result of how much you see it and or hear it. And I mean, I'm literally going to prove it to you right now. I want you to listen to this audio file. This is pertaining to an event that occurred towards me on Thanksgiving Day on a sidewalk. Now, is that, is that sidewalk close to a specific number coded HA location? Yes. Is, the, is one of the individuals, at least one of the two individuals, harassed me on anywhere between 8 and 11 separate occasions? Yes. Is that individual directly connected to the number coded HA location? Yes. You better believe he is. Okay? Now, this occurred on Thanksgiving Day. And as it was transpiring, a, t a running recording tape recorder was running on me. I want you to hear how these individuals are saying gang stalk together, gang stalking, and then gang is stalking. I'm going to F you up. Now, the whole goal for them was to form a mental association in my mind that I would be assaulted because of gang stalking. That's why they were repeating it as they were harassing me. On January 30th, 2014, not even six days ago, I was brutally assaulted on the same exact sidewalk, not even 100 feet down that same sidewalk, okay, uh, by an individual, okay, who I as have seen on four separate occasions, and two of those separate occasions I saw him talking to these guys. Okay. Now, I'm here today to tell you the truth, not to give you bullshit, not to lie, because I don't lie. Throughout the entire year, today's date is January, uh, February 5th, 2014. Throughout the entire year of 2013, I was making a video every single day up until about, I'd say, the first week of December. And then I, only, and then I was only making a video about once or twice a week at this location. Now, think about this. The, every year starts in the month of January up till the beginning month of December 2013 I was making from January 2013 to December 2013 I was making two videos here every day before I left one video okay was me showing a video picture of my tent uh, explaining let's see if anything happens to it while I'm gone for the day let's see if it's missing damaged or stolen and or if any other property that's hidden close by is stolen or if a trespass notice is put on the tent and then I also made additional statements every day that I made a video which encompassed those statements that I just made to you and me turning the video camera around and stating that they were putting people on the sidewalk to say gang stalk and or gang stalker and or gang stalking why don't you come and steal or stalk then on separate dates when I'd make, be making the same video every day I'd say that they were getting people to get up on the sidewalk and say gang stalk and or gang stalking and or gang stalker why don't you call the police on her now think about this both of those are threats while they're saying gang stalker all of those videos were published practically every day by me throughout the entire year of 2013 Okay, do you understand what I'm telling you? What I'm telling you is that I can undisputably prove that the event that I just shared with you in reference to these individuals getting up on the sidewalk and saying gang stalk together, gang stalking, and then gang of stalking, I'm going to F you up, occurred on a sidewalk as they're threatening me. That occurred on Thanksgiving Day, and I can prove it undeniably. Now, let's look at this. Thanksgiving Day is November 28, 2013. I was already publishing hundreds of videos already all over the internet using different YouTube accounts stating that individuals are being put up on this sidewalk and as they were riding their bikes by they'd say gang stalker why don't you come and steal her stuff or gang stalker why don't you call the cops on her. Also when I made those videos I also stated that two separate UCSD students walked by me on two separate dates and said gang stalker why don't you go and steal her stuff. 
Now think about this. These are individuals that I was already published, making videos throughout the entire year of 2013 every day, stating that they were putting people up on the sidewalk to say gang stalker. Why don't you come and steal her stuff? Or gang stalker, why don't you call the cops on her? Both of those are threats while they're saying gang stalk. Do you see what I'm saying? And then when this Thanksgiving event occurred, they put these two guys up on a sidewalk to say gang stalk, gang stalking, and gang of stalking. I'm going to F you up. That's a threat. So it was the same method, just different threat. So that proves that I was... All the videos that I made and published throughout the entire year of 2013 proves that I was telling the truth about what was already happening to me here. Now let me just play that audio again one more time. Gang is stalking, I'll F you up. That's a threat while they're saying gang stalking. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, the individuals that played a role in this event, one of them has been seen by me on anywhere between 8 and 11 separate occasions harassing me out and about in the community and at G-I-L-L times 2, I'm a woman, not a man. Now, the individual that just assaulted me five days ago was seen by me on four separate occasions at least, two of them by himself, two of them by himself, and the other two times, he was seen by me talking to the freaks that, that had to do with this Thanksgiving event. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. Also, on the morning of January 30th, 2014, I made verbal statements in my tape recorder because I was going into an area where a lot of shit has happened at because of gang stalking. So I made a, a statement in my tape recorder because I knew where I was going for the day. I said, let's see if I'm assaulted at all today. I then go and take care of all my administrative business and my personal business, you know, like, you know, personal stuff business, like, you know, um, post office and stuff like that. And then I go to that, all the way over to that area, then come back to La Jolla, get off a bus, start a new audio file, and I said, let's see if anything happens on the sidewalk on my way home. And then a guy shows up that I, that I have seen before on four separate occasions, two of them talking to the guys who played a role in this Thanksgiving event. That's right. So I, did, I, I went, once I seen him, and I actually saw him 30 seconds after I stopped up and got some water out of a water faucet, and then after I um, filled up my water bottle and started back on my rod on the sidewalk, I said, let's see if anything happens here. 30 seconds later, within 30 seconds, I noticed this guy walking up the street. And so I thought to myself, I'm going to get a video picture of him this time. So I sat down on a ledge on the sidewalk and took out my video camera and cuffed it in my hands. I can barely see it. In fact, once you see the video of the assault, you'll clearly be able to see that there's no way this guy could have seen that I was taking a video picture of him from the distance that I was doing it and because of the fact that the video camera was cuffed in my hand. At the very beginning of the video, you literally almost cannot see anything that I'm trying that, in reference to the street because my fingers are in the way. They used that as an excuse to have this guy cross the street and assault me, and that's why they had him walk down the street as I was coming up the sidewalk on the other side of the street. Basically, what they were doing was cyber surveillance is a method of gang stalking. And what they were doing was noticing that I had been taking video pictures intermittently, discreetly, of other people that have harassed me on prior occasions. So what they did was they said, well, this is how she acts to individuals we've used before. So what we'll do is get an individual we've used before, have him walk by her, and then we tell him that if she sits down or she stops and gets off her bike and stands there and waits until you walk by her, and if you can notice that she's taking a video picture of you, or if you suspect it, walk across the street and beat the shit out of her and, and blame it on the video. And blame it because she was taking a video picture of you. That's right. That's why they did it. Now, there's a, there were some also other effects that I believe that they probably planned on for if I would have called the police. That's right. Because they intentionally let me see where he went. It's a long story. Just trust me. I'm talking about gang stalking methods and tactics. I know how these whores think.
You better believe I know how they think. But sometimes you, you, you'll forget about something that they might attempt to do because when you're distracted in the busyness of your day, you can't... It, 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 it's almost like... It's almost like... um. Uh, let's say you go to, let's say you build 10 bikes in two days, 40 days ago. Well, during those 10, 10, 10 days when you built all those bikes, 40 bikes in 10 days, you didn't have to think about how to continue to build the remaining 39, 38, 37, you know, amount of bikes. Because it had already been anchored in your mind how to do it, you know, in uh, short-term memory. But... Once 60 days goes down the road and somebody tells you to put together that same bike, you're going to have to maybe look at the instructions once or twice again in order to be able to jog that memory because it's now lo no longer short-term memory. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what they basically did was they rotate their tactics. So I'll forget about why they might be doing something, then I, then I respond to it because they know how I've responded to previous harassment. And then they and then they use that as an excuse to assault you, to make it look like it's all happening because of any other reason except for gang stalking. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's right. They will literally blame you for the assault they're they're doing. And if I would have called the police and told them that I seen where the guy was going, they would have probably brought him out. He would have said, I don't know what the bitch is talking about. She's crazy. He might have even said she's bothering people that I know. Okay. And then he might have even opened up and says, I know where this bitch lives. And then the police say, well, where are you living at? You're not supposed to be living there. Move. So I would not only get assaulted, he would get away with it, but then I would have to move before I'm prepared to move. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are Sandy, certain specific San Diego police officers involved in gang stalking? Yes. Yes, they are, baby cakes. You better believe it. So this is my way of proving this criminality is happening to me by exposing the evidence, okay, talking to you with... So, you know, explaining the details so you can use common sense to deliberate what I state. And all you got to do is go to YouTube. Hang on. All you got to do is go to YouTube and type in learning disabled woman makes predictions for the day. And you'll see how many videos I got online pertaining to this area and what I was stating in reference to how they were putting people up on the sidewalk to say gang stalker wanted to come and steal her stuff. Because that's on the anchor fear so I'll be constantly preoccupied if my shit's going to be stolen for the day. The technique is called dark neurolinguistic programming using the direct conversation method. Google it. Okay? And then they would also put additional people up on the sidewalk to say gang stalker wanted to call the cops on her. It's all about anchoring fear that something's going to happen to you and or your property. That's right. Because of gang stalking. They want to form intentionally form and anchor mental associations in your mind that everything that's happening to you is because of gang stalking. That's right. That's right. Now think about this. I'm on a sidewalk. On Thanksgiving Day, these two bums come across my path, say gang stalk, gang stalking, and gang stalking, I'm going to F you up. And then two months and two days later, I'm brutally assaulted by a man who was seen by me on two separate occasions talking to these freaks. And then on two other occasions, gaslighting me with physical gestures as he walked down the street and at Ross Grocery Store. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. So, you know, <clears throat> all you got to do is factually look at this. When he brutally assaulted me on January 30, 2014, um, it was the same exact sidewalk this Thanksgiving event occurred on. 60 feet up the street on the sidewalk. Same exact sidewalk. Now, let me tell you something now. They made a boo-boo because the video camera was running and so was a tape recorder. Where he assaulted me at, enough landscape is shown in that video to show the general area. Now, listen to this. Enough landscape is shown in that video to, to prove G-I-L-L times 2. I'm a woman, not a man. Okay. Now, when you cross-reference that to all the previous statements I made pertaining to other things in other videos, which I will completely, completely detail and expose, it correlates, trust me. 
okay? And I will be making these videos once I uh, do something that I gotta do in order to, uh, I think I'm gonna move. Yeah, yeah, it's got something to do with that, sorry, but I'm trying to juggle in my mind what to say and how to say it without disclosing too much information, so it's kind of like a, I'm having a cognitive reset right now. But anyways, what I was basically trying to do was, uh, let me just put it to you this way. The landscape of the video proves where the event happened at. Once I do a specific thing, okay, it's going to literally, 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 literally prove that both assaults, I mean the threat of being assaulted and the assault took place on a sidewalk that was already being exposed in other videos in other ways. Gotta go. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. I do what I do to inform, to expose the truth. On over 17 to 21 separate occasions, separate occasions, I physically requested to the San Diego police to make a police report that I am a victim of this crime, and they told me no to my face each and every time, and I have literally caught gang stalking happening inside the San Diego Police Department headquarters. Individuals getting around me and constantly repeating gang stalk while I was in there. Go to Google and type, type in learning disabled woman, cops caught on camera and listen to those audio files. You can also go to YouTube and type in Learning Disabled Woman Exposes Gang Stalking at SDPDHDQ. I made a video at this location that morning, July 24, 2013. I said, let's see if gang stalk is along any of my routes for that day. Before I finished making the video, I showed a picture of my cell phone which showed the date and time. I wear a running recorder on me at all times that is recording. The recorder runs by date and time. I then left this area, went, took multiple buses to get down there. It was caught being set around me inside the San Diego Police Department headquarters. The tape recorder reflected the same date but a later time, which shows stalking from here to there. Do you see what I'm saying? How can I predict what I'm going to hear in an environment 30 miles away? Especially if it's a, if it's a word that's never used at all by anybody unless they're intentionally using it or talking about the crime. But the way it's being said around me is the same exact identical way it's being said around me everywhere. Gang stalk, gang stalk, gang stalk. Oh my god, we're crazy. Gang stalk, gang stalk, gang stalker. We're crazy. Oh my god. The same exact way the filthy animals that are 100 feet away are doing. They're nothing but neighborhood low-life bums, okay, who have been brought on board as a result of the manager of this expedition. Okay, and they're being paid off with God only knows what, and the individuals who are using them to do it are in the system. That's right. So they're on a power trip because they feel protected, while I got to live in the effects of being harassed every day, day and night. I'm not involved in any illegal or criminal activity whatsoever. I am not mentally ill, and I am not a threat to myself or others. I do what I do to inform and expose the truth. So San Diegoans and Californians can realize the whoredom of specific San Diego police officers. I'm not saying all of them are. I don't believe that every single police officer in San Diego is involved in gang stalking. But I will say this. The ones who aren't, watch your back. Watch your back, buddies. Okay. I have nothing against whatsoever any uncorrupted police officer who's just out there trying to do his job and survive, you know, to survive what could happen to him or her as a result of being a police officer. But as far as the San Diego police officers who are involved in the gang stalking and who will happily lie about it and even call me crazy or delusional, as far as I'm concerned, they can look my balls. Okay. Excuse my language, and I sincerely hope that nobody's watching this that's of young age. All right, I got to go. Uh, I usually don't talk like this. In fact, if you look at all the hundreds and hundreds of YouTube videos of mine, you'll never see me say anything like that in any of them. That's the first time I've ever said anything like that. But, you know, the guy who assaulted me on the sidewalk, he took a bike helmet, and he, he slung it back like this and went full force to hit me in the face and in the head. But I had my bike gloves on. And when I saw it coming, I lifted up my hand, okay, and it caught the hand instead. And my hand's been bothering me ever since, but not even a bruise has appeared. But I caught the, I caught the whole thing on audio and video, so it can, approve, it can definitely prove that something happened because it was caught as it was transpiring. And then, after he, and then after he did it, he says, how do you like that bitch? Okay, and you can tell by what's in the video and what's on the audio that something occurred. You can, you can tell it 100%. All right, I got to go. I got to find my... Uh, Oh, hold on a second. All right, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get back inside my tent to get my bike, uh, my bike gloves out. Oh no, wait, they're in my pocket. All right, see, these are the gloves I had on right here. 
And uh, once I put them on, because I was already on my bike when I saw them. So once I saw the hemic helmet coming towards my head, I lifted out my hand and caught it. He went full force, too. That's right. All right, so anyways, I don't carry any weapons on me at all except for maze. Okay? And I know where this guy lives. You better believe I do. So I'm letting you, letting my my viewers understand something. I'm, I'm exposing that this crime has happened. This crime is happening to me on a daily basis. We're also going to see how long it takes for me to be banned from UCSD libraries and or their entire campus and CVS store or any store in that plaza off of La Jolla Village Square and or Rouse or any business in that plaza off of La Jolla Village Square. I'm gang stalked around there like you would not believe. Like you would not believe. And I've been talking about including employees and management. They'll lie about it and act all friendly to everybody when they go in there. Understand, I'm telling you the truth. I have no reason to lie about this at all to anybody. To anybody. And I got the audio files to prove it. In fact, just go to YouTube and type in Learning Disabled Woman Exposes Gang Stalking at Ralph's La Jolla. Just do it. Alright, I gotta go. I'm in San Diego. If you hear gang stalking being said around me, that's because it's happening. <laughs> I gotta go. Alright, thank you, and have a nice day.